So uh, I'm calling the board meeting to order at 7.05 p.m. Uh, so roll call. Uh, Trustee Amar. Uh, she's delayed. Plain delay. She should be here soon. Public comments. I have a few public comments. Uh, as usual, we have a busy agenda, so in your public comments, please consider it. Be considerate about how much time you're using, and as usual, conciseness will be greatly appreciated. Um, you may want, if you're staying for the entire meeting, to hold comments until the second session of comments at the end of the meeting. I think your remarks will be uh, better informed by what we're uh, going to cover in the meeting and, uh, and you may be able to better target any points that you have planned to make. Uh, thirdly, I, when I um, think and I play back in my mind the reel of public comments over the past six months, I'm not sure that they paint uh, a picture of our community that we would really like. Uh, I think that uh, there is a need for uh, civility, politeness, and dignity that need to get back into our public discourse. And I hope that uh, everybody will have it as a uh, New Year's good resolution. Uh, finally, I'd like to welcome Assistant Director Emily Compton Zach to the table. Um, it's uh, it's great to have you here. I um, want from the outset to thank you for the help that you have provided the board and provided me over the past week. Uh, I think you've helped to manage a very smooth transition with a lot of uh, consideration and, uh, uh, and thoughtfulness. Um, trustees, we had a uh, staff meeting this afternoon and it's pretty clear that uh, the staff feels that they're in good hands. So uh, I know that this is not necessarily something that you're relishing at this point of your career and that you want to do for a long period of time, but it's great to have you on board. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see, there is... Okay, could okay. you mind so that I don't step over them? So... Oh, this is a, this is attendance. So, uh, can I just have a show of hand to have an idea of how uh, much public comments we should anticipate? Let's see, one, two, three, four, seven, eight. Is this eight? before or after? Well, so we're, we're going to have two sessions mm -hmm. of public comments. Mm -hmm. One now and one okay. at the end of the meeting before we go into public sessions. So I just want a show of hand for those people who want to speak now. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's go from, from the back. Uh, Whoever is in the back, I think. I think I'm gonna go first. Good. Um, good evening. Uh, my name is Sue Kel Sue Erickson Kelly, and I live in Northfield. And I'd like to start by saying thank you to the library board for making the difficult decision to change leadership. Well, I know it's a difficult decision. This is the best outcome for our library system to move forward. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the library employees who I have interacted with during my many hours in the studio. They're the utmost of professionals and treat every patron with care and respect. In a service business, they understand the value of hard work, professionalism, and kindness. Nick, Aaron, Melissa, Megan, Sandy, Mark, and Amanda are amazing, and we are lucky to have them as employees at the Winneco Northfield Library System. Another employee I would like to recognize is Jimmy Vickers-Gonzalez. He is well known as a studio specialist who can get things done. Many studio regulars plan their tricky projects around his schedule. 
He is organized, creative, and patient. He began by volunteering 10 years ago at the Winnetka Library and for over five years has been an employee, first part-time and then full-time as he put himself through college. Now he is halfway finished with his Master's of Library Science. I would like to suggest that as the system is reorganized, that Jimmy be promoted to a librarian position. With Emily filling in as interim director, there are many holes from her previous position. It is a perfect time to recognize, reorganize some of the other employees, and Jimmy is the kind of employee to promote. Besides working at the Winnetka Library, he also works at Deerfield and Skokie Libraries. Both of these libraries are in the initial stages of maker spaces, and we really don't want a valuable employee such as Jimmy to be recruited away from us. Thank you, Denise, and thank My you for your... My name is Sue. Oh, Sue, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but by now, you all know that I'm not good at names and faces, so... <laughs> that should be also one of my New Year's Eve resolutions, I guess. Uh, but thank you, and thank you for your recognition of the library staff. They are truly deserving. Uh, I think there was someone next to you, or in front of you. Carol? Carol. Okay, my name is Carol, it's over in Northfield. And I just want to say thank you to all who have worked so hard in addressing the problem, problematic issues within our library district. Thank you to our board. Thank you to our current and former staff members. Thank you to our patrons. And thank you to the press. Though this has been a difficult journey for everyone, we had all worked together only with the highest goal in mind, to make our library the best possible for our community. And I'm confident that we will all continue to work together to that end. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Jeffrey, yeah. yeah, I think you're next. No, Oh, you didn't have, I'm sorry, sir. I'm just scratching my chin. Okay. <laughs> I recognize no, I, I second your chin. And, 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 and appreciating all the civility. I, I, rec I recognize the signal. <laughs> this will be very brief. It, it's much the same as what you've heard already. Um, some of you may remember I was at the October meeting, and I said, um, although I knew none of you at the time, uh, based on my own experience on some public boards in the community, Previously, I would have stipulated and did that I knew that your interest was in what is best for the community, and I just want to say thank you for validating my confidence in what I had hoped then and now you have proved to be the case. Thank well, you. For I'm Chuck Hirsch. I don't know. If I, I said I, that. <laughs> thank you, Chuck. Thank you for your comments. I think there was one more hand in the back, sir. Me? Yes. I didn't think I was in the back, but... <laughs> oh, oh, Amy, I, I'm sorry. There's someone in the back? Go ahead, Amy. All right. I'm Amy Richmond. I live in Northfield. I also want to start with uh, thanking the video. I understand this started in December. I couldn't make it to the December meeting. This is great. This is transparency. This is beautiful, so thank you. I also like to thank you because I understand that as of a month or so ago, uh, we've begun to have dedicated Northfield people back at Northfield, Margie and Sydney, and that is fantastic, so thank you on that. Which leads me to the other things that we need to have happen. We got a good start, let's keep going. Uh, we need a full dedicated staff for Northfield, dedicated staff for Winnetka. Um, a problem that I've been made aware of at Northfield is that we haven't had an accredited librarian there for entire weekends that were open. That is utterly unacceptable. We don't pay the taxes we do to not have a full-pledged librarian there. One great way to solve that would be if we could have someone like Melissa Morgan, who was dedicated Northfield person, fully-fledged librarian, very well loved by the Northfield uh, community. It's time we get her back to Northfield full-time. Um, and then the other thing I was going to mention um, is uh, just I know that there is this search uh, that we're going to have for the new library director. I very strongly really think what's essential is that, and there's precedent for it because it's what happened a number of years ago, that the staff, the entire staff, be involved in every step of the process. Uh, the staff actually got to interview the six top candidates before, and the candidate that we wound up with, Tino, was fantastic. <coughs> Everybody was really happy with her. Unfortunately, you know, things happened, so we didn't get to keep her very long. But 
I just think if uh, the main interest is to rebuild trust in the community, it would be you know, assuring us that the staff are going to be intimately and extricably involved with every step of the process and the final decision as well. So that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Robert Leonard Winnetka. Uh, I would only say that um, I would like to see the board and the uh, library director, the new library director, whoever that is, uh, make an effort to at least partially restore the genealogy department that was destroyed by the previous library director. And Trustee Gil Anwar, when she comes, can inform the board as to how much patronage was lost when that happened. Thank you, Bob. Okay. Again, there will be another opportunity at the end for additional comments. Uh, let's move to item number four, discussion and vote to appoint Emily compton Zach as library interim director. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I'm kind of appointed. Oh, okay. Uh, so, how about... I'd like to make a motion to appoint Emily. Is that correct? Oh, I was going to give you the opportunity to uh, comment, but if you, if, if we were ready to move to motion. Oh, of course. <laughs> Emily, you're, you are a natural to cover our transition, and I uh, hope for you to meet the public that is so dedicated to our library. Um, your title will be an interim uh, director during the period of time until we find the replacement, of which is going to be a very thorough process. And uh, welcome, it, from me. Now we'll talk to you. Any other? I don't feel like any comment. I'm ready to vote. All right. I have one. Just I want to thank Emily for stepping in yeah. on very short notice um, to a job that she didn't ask for. Um, and she, like uh, our president has said already, I think she has done an admirable job in the short period of time that she served as sort of acting interim until uh, today's board meeting. So um, I'm also ready to vote, but I wanted to acknowledge that on the record. I, I think I've acknowledged it. Uh, and again, I was, uh, let me just say that I was very impressed, trusted by the uh, staff meeting this afternoon, and it's very clear that uh, Emily has the confidence with the staff, of the staff, and that uh, I think the <coughs> library is in a good interim position. Okay, motion. I'd like to make a motion to appoint Emily as the interim director of the Winnipeg Northfield Libraries. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Emily, you're officially <laughs> interim <laughs> director. Yes. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. Item five. Vote to approve the minutes of the December 16 regular meeting. Any questions, comments about uh, the minutes? JP, I just wanted to note um, that the strategic plan um, had been tabled until this meeting, but I didn't see it reflected on um, the agenda. Uh, when will we be picking that one back up? So, um, I, I think that's probably something to discuss, but in, um, if, I, if I have to ante something, I would say that this is squarely the type of projects that we'll have to wait until we have a new director. <coughs> um, I, I, don't, I don't really see the value of making progress or uh, until uh, until we have a, a new leader. And, and, and to me, actually, that's one of the value proposition to attract an outstanding candidate to be able to tell them you have the opportunity to shape the vision and the strategy for the, for the library. That's a good point. Okay. Uh, motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the minutes are approved. Uh, financial report? Who does that? You do, you do that? You do that? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I confess I looked at the December financial report just to see uh, where it was left off. Um, I did uh, just note that the expenses are still running under it was the same as last month uh, that is under. It's 41.45% now. That's just because the patio has been delayed. Mm -hmm. 
The building fund is running slightly high still, 55.41%. We've had some maintenance, um, carpet cleaning, et cetera. Also, this last week we did have some elevator maintenance to humane for our elevator report, so um, that will probably likely stay a little high. Um, another outlier, because I was just looking for one, uh, studio maintenance for repairs running under, we did just have um, December, which is our busiest month. Yeah. So we're doing some uh, laser filter replacements and post-holiday rush maintenance um, machines, which will spend some of that money. Otherwise, if you have any questions about the financials, I'm happy to relay them to a lot of Rock and Amen, because I likely will not be able to answer them right now. But um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to write them down. I, I had no questions. Yes. Yeah, seems yeah. to be tracking consistently. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't have anything on the actual financials, but on the um, question of the patio project, is it really at this point we have everything ready to go? It's just we're waiting for warm weather. Uh, that was my understanding. Yeah. We can look into it. For yeah, I, just, I, I think that's my understanding as well. Um, and we weren't able to get the project started early enough in the fall mm -hmm. to really be able to do it right, right? Um, I just want to make sure that when, you know, March and April roll around that we're ready and we can hit it right. Yeah, I'll check. I'll, I'll see if there's any other prep we need to do okay. before. Thank you. And, and as you mentioned, I, I would say the patio is probably, for me, a good example of the type of project that we should Keep moving with. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're yes. We're, we're, yeah, we're not going to. Yeah, I don't want to bring the director to. Great, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, let us know when 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 you want us to bring our shovel shovels <laughs> <laughs> and start uh, and start digging. Uh, so let's see. We need we need a motion to approve the. Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so hey, we're doing good. Uh, item seven, library reports. So uh, I'll start. Can I start? Yes. Um, so, uh, so Rebecca was the, the library director or the former library director is out of the office for an indefinite period of time. All personal matters are private and confidential. The library cannot make any additional comments regarding this matter. I think we all know that. Uh, and Emily is now officially interim director. Um, it's, it's clearly uh, frustrating for some people that we cannot provide more details. But I think the good news is that it forces us to look at the future rather than dwelling in the past. And clearly, we're entering into a new chapter of the library's history. And change is scary, but change is also good and exciting. Um, we will be launching a new searches, uh, a search for a new director, and we will talk later in the uh, meeting how we're organizing ourselves to do that. But I want to say that I am uh, utterly confident that we will be able to attract an outstanding uh, director for the library. Uh, and, and for two main reasons. First of all, because I think that the library is in great shape uh, with the full renovation of the Winnetka branch, the new space, the studio, and the uh, upcoming completion of the, the patio and, and the outdoors. Uh, I think we have a terrific staff. And it was great to see that uh, recognized. Uh, we have high overall pa patron satisfaction, solid financial situation, and a great history of record and innovation. So I think one of the, the first key element of our value proposition to a new director will be you're coming and you will have a very solid foundation. Beyond that, I think there will be plenty of opportunity for the new director to provide leadership and leave their own mark on the library, which is, I think, what an outstanding leader will we want to do. Um, again, we've barely gotten started in the strategic plan. At the last meeting, that was a big problem. I think now it's a good it's thing. <laughs> and and uh, basically, that will be a, a key element of our value proposition. The new director, you will be able to shape the vision and strategy for, for the library. Uh, the renovation of Northfield is still some an opportunity. Uh, there are 
big uh, unanswered questions about managing the transition to the digital world. And I think we're only getting started in that area. And then we still have plenty of advantage of, of opportunities to take advantage of the fact that we have one library and two branches. And that's still a source of that opportunities as far as I'm concerned. So it's a bit tried to say that uh, the library of the future is not going to be the library of the past, but I think we have both the foundation and the opportunities to attract somebody who will be outstanding, creative, progress, and future-minded. Uh, and I am personally looking at this new chapter with uh, excitement, enthusiasm, and, uh, and I hope you will, well, I know that the board shares my optimism about uh, the future of the library. And that's my report. I, I just give some highlights um, Okay, so in December, I guess this is technically January, but we had a couple of nice impact stories um, from staff. Katie, our head of circulation, was reporting and actually I experienced this myself too. But a lot of people were coming in in January the first thing to get their library cards as their New Year's resolutions. Oh, awesome. so that was nice. Is that a new development this year? Or is that, <laughs> yeah. a, is that something every year that you experience? I think it's something we experience every year, but we wanted to push down. Okay. Which is nice. People do that. And I, I registered a few people myself. Um, we also had a young man named Jack. He's a local Boy Scout. Um, asked if he could put a box to gather blankets and scarves donations for the homeless, which is just an initiative he wanted to do himself, and he was very organized, and he approached me himself, and he was just very... How old? Um, <coughs> he was little. He did a wonderful job, and he um, organized boxes all around. So when I Northfield, we'll met on the... Wow. donations, which was nice. Is that over? Uh, I think he's done, and then he said he's going to report on how much we all did. Which I thought was so sweet. Yeah. It wasn't like what I did. Some other personnel changes. We have two new circulation associates, Lisa Bendoff and Stephanie Gonzalez Diaz. Um, we have and two openings for part time youth associates at this time. Uh, also, in big news, Lindsay Goldstein, one of our youth service <coughs> librarians, was on Jeopardy on Friday. And uh, we had a viewing at the library. She came in second place, and she won $2,000. So we yeah. had Lindsay. Was she was great. Awesome. She was, was great. So yeah. And she started off really strong, and we really thought she was going to win. And she answered the most correct questions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, that was, and, yeah. she, and the library event was a very cool event with mm -hmm. popcorn. And yeah, we did. Popcorn. Awesome. Yeah. Really? Oh, that's great. How many, how many attended? Oh, I didn't count. I don't know. Oh, but what do you think? Maybe 20. Maybe there were 20 people. We were all standing yeah. in the lobby. Oh, that's so great. Right. Oh. But it was, it's her family thing. Oh, mm -hmm. um, there has been some development on the library app. Mm -hmm. Michael Chinfrani, our virtual yes. services coordinator, is working with the developer Kapira Technologies. They also, I think, I believe, just signed a contract with New York Public Library to work on oh. their app, so I think they're pretty well. Oh. Um, Company. So they're starting uh, the development timeline, and then it'll be four to six weeks, and then Michael will coordinate user testing with staff and patrons, there'll be another two to four weeks. So they're hoping for a go live in late March. I'll volunteer. Yeah, yeah. I'll volunteer too. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really helpful, because you can't have to yeah. 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 Trustee Johnson, this is your opportunity. <laughs> 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 Test. I, will, I will hold you to that. Yeah, yeah please do. Um, yeah, you would be good. A couple of program highlights. The One Act Current profiled One Act's New Year's Eve program. Um, so if you click on the link, you can see Miss Amanda running the hottest party in town New Year's Eve. There were 75 people there. Um, we had some other interesting programs in December. We had an Andy Warhol program to kind of coincide with the exhibit at the Art Institute. Um, we had 45 people at the Music and Movement program for kids, where they play songs and dance and do all sorts of things. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of general update stuff. Any questions about? Yeah. 
are you gonna, are you gonna talk about uh, circulation trends? Oh sure, yeah. yeah. So I did. So our what we've been trending is down in physical circulation. <coughs> our digital material circulation is trending up, and then also our programming mm -hmm. is trending up. And the American Library Association publishes a state of American libraries every year. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the last two years, they do mention the same trends. You see them in public libraries. Yeah. So it's the same one. So physical going down, digital yeah. uh, programming going down. Um, and last month, Nick and Kate, our collections librarians, reported on our collections. But one of the things I asked them to do was to look at our physical material circulation compared to sister libraries um, and like libraries in the area, like Womad, the Forest, like Glencoe, to see if we were trending down in a way that wasn't too much of an outlier, you know, where we weren't too worried about it. And um, so we, we, they did compare how we're doing. And we were actually not, not to be competitive, but not as far down as some of our sister libraries. So, we're kind of on trend with the nation in a way that's not so <coughs> worrisome, but of course we'll. Right. Okay. But the, the digital circulation mm -hmm. is still small enough that it's not making up for the loss mm -hmm. in physical circulation. And that is actually so, how it's trending nationwide too. Yeah. It's so, not making up for it. So total, total going down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, can I ask in the the way that the report is done? On pages 27 and 28, I know that there is, for each of the categories, um, an other, which is drastically higher. <laughs> there's a, there's a, you know, a line that's an other that's, you know, 200 to, you know, 700, you know, 800 percent. Can you give us an idea, if you know, about what that other box encompasses? Um, and, and if we don't know off the top of your head, if you could look into that, because it's just so much different on every single <laughs> I category. Put it in for you, because I'm yeah. not sure I can. But I'll, I'll Any other questions, comments about what's happening at the library? I just know that I did attend um, both the New Year's Eve and the um, music and movement that Emily mentioned, and they're just they're huge hits with you know the young families and um, the young kids, um, and it, just seeing seeing little children see the library as the place to be, yeah. I, I always think is a good thing that you know kind of get, get them young. Um, but it's, uh, you know, Amanda and her team uh, in youth yeah. services do an amazing job. Well, did you try to find a parking spot today? <laughs> I did, because <laughs> I went there first. <laughs> uh, no, but it's, and, and you know. Today, today we're yeah. yeah. exam seems yeah. well. It's yeah. exam, yeah. it's exam yeah. exams. Yeah. 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 We're full of good teams. Good. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Emily. Good showing for a first one. Uh, let's see. Uh, item eight, liaison to other organizations. Trustee Johnson. And uh, mostly quiet on the village front. Um, the major discussion at the last full council meeting was uh, <clears throat> not really that relevant to us, but very quickly sort of working with Crow Island to exchange stormwater retention in exchange for uh, zoning leniency should they ever try to expand that school as um, the most popular school. There are no plans to expand it, so stormwater is moving forward. Trustee Wagner is moving to Florida, um, and other than that, not a whole lot. I mean, individual houses, which are really relevant. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Trustee Shoup, anything in Northfield? Uh, tomorrow is the village meeting. And at the village meeting tomorrow, there will be a vote of which they're going to prohibit, I think I introduced it last meeting, but to have the sale, there will not be any sale of cannabis <coughs> for adult use in the North Field. So there will be an amend or specifics in the Constitution or however it is, it's uh, the amendment to forbid, prohibit that. Um, and other than that, there's nothing groundbreaking that I'm aware of. That's it. Thank you. Uh, item nine, unfinished business. A report of the board HR special committee. So 
uh, recall that in September we establish a special committee of the board to assess the HR environment at the library and uh, we're going to hear trustees McNally and Vandegris report uh, the report from the committee. So a word about process. Uh, we interviewed, Kate and I interviewed many people, both current and former employees and members of the community. Um, to, the objective was to take, to, to get a sense of what the work atmosphere was like at the library. Um, and we reported in detail uh, the highlights of that. In, uh, at our last closed session to the board. Um, we were interested in the library and not, uh, we didn't report names of anybody that we spoke to in the, in the closed session. Uh, just comments and observations. We also um, went back and we read the employee surveys, uh, the, the raw surveys, and uh, we listened to closed sessions going back a year or two. Um, to get a full picture because we're both relatively new to the board. Um, and in the end, we have some recommendations going forward. Um, want to start sure. us off? So uh, the recommendations are, you know, kind of uh, in two stages. Um, the first is uh, kind of where we are at this very moment. And then um, for once we ha do hire a new director full time, um, kind of our thoughts on priorities for that. And so until a new director is hired, uh, the interim director should uh, consult with the management advisory special committee of the board prior to any hiring or termination decisions. And we know that we're going to be talking more about that concept later. Okay. Um, and once the new director is hired and onboarded, we have some priorities that we would like that person to attend to. This is not... Um, necessarily comprehensive, but it's a starting point from, from our findings. Um, we'd, like, we'd, like this, uh, we'd like the director to develop a value statement that describes the values and traits that are necessary to be successful working at the Winnetka Northfield Library District. Um, and this was, in fact, a, an objective of, our, of uh, Ms. Wolf. Um, so we would like that revisited and clarified. We would also want to um, have the library director reassess the HR function, um, how HR services are provided within the district, um, as well as the reporting structure, uh, which is to say, should the HR consultant or employee uh, report directly to the board rather than to the director, um, or at least make regular uh, direct reports to the board. Um, and you know, we would want to also think about, do we continue to outsource this role, this HR role? If we do continue to outsource, would it be to the same company that we have been using, HR source, or should we change companies? Um, we would think about, you know, perhaps do we have a full-time HR manager who is an employee library? Uh, I'm sorry, a library employee or library district employee? Um, and possibly do we share uh, an HR manager, an HR um, consultant with another North Shore library or library district? Um, we would like to um, have the new director conduct a study to benchmark library salaries um, and to ensure that they're appropriate and competitive with similarly sized and situated libraries and district. Um, we also want to uh, have this person assess how to garner candid feedback in the annual employee survey. Um, we'd like a systematic benchmark of, of library personnel turnover versus peer libraries and industry uh, across the industry, ideally, again, with similar sized and situated libraries and district. This has been something that we've been talking about for a while, but to have a um, semi-annual uh, written library director performance assessment. Um, we've been having um, a you know, one time a year written, but we would want to do the mid-year informal check-in, but have it be written um, with uh, progress against the library annual objectives 
um, and to have the year end, the annual evaluation that has been done, which is the more formal one, uh, based on the delivery of annual library objectives um, as the basis for the compensation salary increases. And we would want uh, both of those to um, be written and to uh, be uh, put in the personnel file. Um, we want to ensure that all exit interviews are completed timely and that they're fully documented. And we would like to reinstate the board review of all exit interviews. We want to continue the annual employee appreciation event and ensure board attendance at the event so that we can properly um, uh, and vociferously <laughs> express um, our gratitude to uh, our fantastic employees. Um, but we would also uh, seek to reinstate some less formal morale boosting type of activities and employee recognitions and opportunities throughout the year. And, and we're also committed to um, having more interaction with the employees and the trustees, maybe through something like quarterly brown bag lunch, um, or you know, some, any other number of things that we can explore. I mean, I think that um, what, one of the things that we really um, came away with was how important it is to care for the staff and to make sure that they're um, being uh, managed well and thoughtfully. So that's a priority. That's it. Trustees, any question or comment for uh, Kate and Deb? I have two comments. Um, I said this in the, in the closed session last month. I think the pace and thoroughness with which you two did this is not only commendable, it's extraordinary work. And you should be commended for that. Um, I, I've asked JP, and I know you're taking it under um, advisement, that I think that the engagement survey results should be um, released unredacted, except for the names of any people. <laughs> Direction. Um, and I think the values work isn't just the what of how you get your job done, it's how you treat other people and um, the unacceptable nature of what has transpired at the library. Um, I hope it never happens. Thank you again for the great work. I think we've expressed it um, last month in closed session, but let me reiterate it. Um, I, I, you know, as I step back, I think this is work that defies the HR agenda for the new director. And that basically you will have saved that person when they come back on board a good six months of trying to figure out what's happening at the library and how to uh, make it an even better organization. I, I think uh, this addresses all elements of organization, structure, processes, culture, and, uh, and, and will be an invaluable roadmap for the new person. Um, Emily, I, I know that there are things that uh, you're really already looking into that can get started and, uh, and that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, with that being said, I believe that the uh, HR Special Committee has fully delivered on their mission and that uh, we can dissolve it. Should we? I'd like to make a motion to dissolve the HR committee. Thank you. Trustee Adamore, second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 The, the special You're HR free. committee is now officially dissolved. How does that feel? Dissolving. Dissolving. <laughs> Don't get too bad. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and how? Yeah, so. All right. Uh, Ted, new business. Discussion and vote on phone contract proposal. Do you want me to run, run 
run through it real quickly, or did you just ask questions? I've read it. I've read it. Has everybody read it? Yes. Okay. I agree with the recommendation. It seems in five months it's cost effective when I broke it down. Yeah. Yeah. My only question was more technical. Do we have our alarm service? We need to be rerouted over the internet. So they should just make sure if it's on a landline or it could maybe go in that elevator line. Just something I've gotten through. My question had to do with emergency services. Will they have? The ability to know who, that what they're calling from the library mm -hmm. when you call the police, if they, you know, for some reason they hung up or something. Yeah, it's still, it still comes through. Really. It still comes. Six, it still comes through with the, the correct number and address and everything when you call. Oh, if we switch this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It does. Okay. okay. I was curious about what other companies were that uh, Sure. It, it was eight by eight, um, then Ring Central, the one we like to go with, and then Avaya, which is what we have now. Mm -hmm. Is there and, and if, just to understand the technological restrictions here, if the internet goes down, then the phones go down, right? I believe... Yes. But I believe there's some sort of backup, and I can't speak intelligently about it. So okay. Help, but I would, well, my only concern yeah. is that there's some sort of blackout or something. Because I know... And when, people are stuck, and they need to be able to call, and they can't, you know. And I, I remember Mark asking about this in these meetings, and I just can't remember... How it works? Okay. But, but I can get money. Um, is this a budgeted uh, item, or um, is the money going to be coming out of someplace that we're not expecting? I'm naturally not sure. You know, I'm guessing it's budgeted because it said you know it's a fixed contract for five years to 2020. Right. Yeah. For paying for fund service, for sure. Yeah. You must have anticipated that there would be Actually, I think it will come down in price. We're saving a 600 a month. 600 a month. So, yeah. configuration yeah. fee is paid so for this. So, there must be a capital here. So, it's probably yeah. capitalized. So, for the balance of the year, it's 3,600 right. savings. So, Versus yeah. budget positive. Yeah. Versus 29 uh, yeah. of installations. So and we're under on capital. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. it is something we have to do or we won't have. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Do we need uh, Do we need a vote on that? I will move to approve. The we have to contract. vote because it's oh, money. It's money. It's it's money. A, yeah. Okay. So motion. Motion. I motion to approve the phone contract moving to the OIP by Ring Central. Second. Uh, I think we need an well, individual we need vote. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Trustee Anna. Yes. Trustee Kasam Mendel. Yes. Trustee Gasson. Yes. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee Rose Poinas? Yes. Trustee Chu? Yes. Trustee Vanderbilt? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, it's quite well. You have to wait until public comments at the end. I had a question concerning that moment. No, no, you have to oh, wait until public comments at the end. Um, Let's see. We're still into new business. So um, I would like to propose the creation of two new special committees of the board. Uh, the first committee will be a director search special committee with mission to manage the process on behalf of the board to identify and hire a new director for the library. Uh, this may involve, but not exhaustively, to hire a search firm, to identify a short list of candidates, to set up interviews with the board, to eventually recommend a comp package, and possibly to assess if there is a need for a, call it, long-term interim director, in case, you know, the search firm informs us that it's a your process to find the new director, which I hope will not be the case, yeah. but, uh, but eventually want, want to mention that as being in the scope of, of this committee. Interesting. Uh, I am proposing that this committee be composed of trustees Gosling and Van der uh, Again, you know, a two-member committee so that we're not restrained by OMA type of, uh, um, how would I say, considerations, thank you. 
that we basically slow us the process. We want we want to move fast, and therefore uh, totally delegate to the two trustees uh, all the process dimensions involved in the new search. Except I assume for the final decision. Except yes, yes, yes. It's a process. Yes. I mean, it's a, it's a process. yes. This is this is a process. This is a process committee. This is not a decision making committee. Uh, I would imagine that uh, all of us would eventually interview candidates, uh, that eventually Emily or certain member of the staff would also be involved in the, in the process. But that's, that's basically up to the, to the committee to define how to get us organized to get an outstanding director as quickly as possible. Questions, comments? So, may I have a motion to create a board director search special committee composed of trustees Gosling and Vandegrift? So Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Good. We have, we have a new committee. Uh, the second committee is a management advisory special committee. The mission of this committee would be uh, to support the, the interim director in an advisory capacity. So this is not an oversight committee, it's an advisory capacity that could be a resource to uh, Emily um, and would include not exhaustively being uh, a sounding board on operational issues and decisions for which Emily would need some quick input. Uh, we definitely, as Deb suggested, or Deb okay, uh, a sounding board for human resources issues and decisions, and also a sounding board about uh, community relations issues and decisions. Um, the candidates for uh, this um, committee are trustees Anwar and McNally. The objective is to have uh, something old and something blue, something borrowed and something new. The old and the new <laughs> perspectives. The longer, the longer perspective. I'm not getting married yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but basically to bring to Emily the benefit of experience and the benefit of, of new eyes. I'm Move to appoint that committee. I second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, special HR committee or uh, board board special uh, advisory <laughs> advisory management committee is appointed. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. good. Eleven communications. Emily. The only update is that the district employee appreciation event, which you guys hold January, will be on the 31st. 25. At 515. So I, I, uh, it's just how long does it go? I have to tell my sitter we're done. I think it's until 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I, I, uh, I clarified with Emily, so um, board uh, trustees are generally uh, encouraged to attend. <laughs> but this year they're very encouraged. <laughs> yes. Uh, es especially encouraged to attend. So I hopefully, hopefully, it. hopefully everybody can. Uh, everybody no, can I'm traveling. I'll be in the you, will, you will have to buy a round of drinks or do something <laughs> <laughs> you know, to, make, to make up for it. OK? Uh, so public comments. So uh, let me just tell you what's going to happen. We're going. We're going to go into closed session, so we thought that it would be better to have people uh, do any additional public comments they want now, as opposed to have to wait for the end of the closed session. So we're going to have another round of public comments. We will go into closed session, and we will immediately come back to adjourn the meeting. Does that make sense? Yes. And we will need to let us know how we can let ourselves out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right.
Uh, sir, you'll be oh. wanting to make a comment. Well, I'm still so first. The, the only reason I, I raised my hand before on the phone issue, uh, I had a question. Uh, is this uh, new or additional equipment that you were anticipating when you voted uh, to have for the library? The reason that I had the memory of when I was on the new trip board, we had a similar situation, and one of the providers, all the equipment was totally proprietary, and then in which case, if something we wanted to do to uh, improve it later, we were locked into that supplier, and um, others were more flexible. So I don't know if you've looked into that, but uh, if that is relevant to your consideration, it may still be worth your looking into because the one that we would have been locked into obviously didn't get the contract. Thank you. Thanks for the thanks for the extra red flag. Jeffrey? Uh, question, is the, Jeff, uh, employee, Jeffrey, stand up and say who Jeffrey you are. Lesso, Winneka, is the employee appreciation event just a library staff and board event or is it open to the public? Library, uh, library board and staff. Uh, let's let's go back from the back, I guess. Oh, hi, my name is Kathy Hargrave, and I'm a former employee of the library, and I worked in youth services for 14 years, and I wanted to say thank you for finally making a decision. You know, this has been a wonderful library in the past. You have some staff members who are <coughs> really, really qualified. You also have some that are not so qualified, and when you make your search, I really hope that you will be mindful of your staff. I hope you will find a person who really likes being in a library, who really enjoys being with people, and who actually is a reader, uh, and who will come to library programs. I think that is so important for the next director to be engaged in the library itself. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. Uh, there, there was, I think, uh, another hand next to Kathy's. In front. Or in front? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I just, Denise Gibson, and I live in Northfield. I just, earlier in the meeting when there was the director's report about really um, great um, events that you had had that were really well attended, the one that wasn't mentioned was, um, and I think it's important to call attention to it because I think it was amazing because I was there, I witnessed it happening was the Super Smash Brothers event that Jimmy organized. Um, it had broad ranges, like eight to 20 year olds. I mean, it's a huge draw for um, the kind of patrons. And then also, um, it was so fun. I mean, they were having so much fun. It was loud, it was crazy. The parents were thrilled. It was just amazing. So just wanted to make sure you didn't um, forget about that event. It was called Super Smash Brothers. It was on January 4th. Thank you, Denise. Uh, let's see, the lady behind Bob Leonard. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Peggy Martin. I live in I'm sorry, say, say, could you please say your name again? Peggy Martin, lived in Winnetka for 48 years, raised four children who use the Winnetka Public Library frequently. And in the past few years, I discovered the studio downstairs, which to me is one of the most amazing things that you've done at the library. And and along with that, I'd like to speak in support of Jamie, Jimmy Gonzalez, who is the most amazing employee that resides in the studio. Um, everyone goes to him, everyone uses him. He is creative, he's efficient, he's friendly. He, there's nothing too big, too serious that he can't handle. Um, I know that there was a position open and it was given to someone else. I think it was probably very disappointing to Jimmy because that man could run the entire library. Um, there are never any supplies missing. He is always there for any project and can figure anything out. And based on the change in administration, I think there needs to be some serious institutional change to ensure that Jimmy is recognized for his skills and experience in the studio. I know there are other libraries, and I know he works part-time in some of the other libraries. He has helped them establish exactly what we have at the studio in Winneka. And I think it would be just devastating to all of us there if he ever took a position any other place, which, 
you know, they open up, who knows? I think we need to keep him in Winneka because he is the person who knows everything in that studio. Thank you. Thank you, Peggy. Uh, Bob, Bob Leonard, I think it's, you're, you're back. Yes. Uh, I was a little concerned about the suggestion that you might want to have the HR person report to the board instead of the library director because I think it would be difficult to recruit some of this library director and then tell them they don't have control over hiring or firing. Uh, the board obviously has to have oversight, but I think you should not carry it too far. Thank you. And you've been very patient. It's okay. Um, I'm going to sit just because I... Would you mind saying your name? And Patty Morrell. I just messed my knee up, so I'm going to take it from sitting position. Patty, Patty Morrell, uh, 35 years living in Northfield. Um, I first wanted to welcome personally Emily um, to your new position and as a res longtime resident and love lover of the library, I would do anything to support your success in, in moving forward. You're, it, and I applaud you for taking the position and, and stepping up. It's, it's what it's all about. I also want to thank each of you for your action and I just finished in my own world an executive search. Uh, with the firm, it was exhaustive, and Deborah Vandergrift yes. and Kath Catherine, thank you because what you outlined was transparency, accountability, vulnerability, and corporate structure understands that to be how you build a strong unit, as well as small businesses and not for profits, and that's just what you define, and it. It is exhaust. I understand how exhausting that is. So um, I would give you a standing ovation if I could stay in the position. <laughs> Thank you. I, it was a, this is a good night. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I need a motion to adjourn to close session. All in favor? Aye. All right.